Miami and Ohio State just went final in Columbus. Players getting fired up before this one. Special teams have been an issue for the Buckeyes this year. Up 3-0. Lamar Miller says not anymore. He didn't literally say it. He said it with his actions. 88 yards for the touchdown. Hurricanes on top 7-3. Randy Shannon likes that. Early second quarter, it's 10-3. Terrell Pryor, Devere Posey. That is nice, 62 yards down to the Miami 18, first and 10 for the Buckeyes. And from there, it is Pryor on the very next play. Talking about a quick strike offense in this one to Brandon Sane. And look at the catch. Ties it at 10. Pryor, 12 of 28, 233 yards. A touchdown, did not throw an interception. Also ran for 112 yards. But with Ohio State up 20 to 10, Travis Benjamin on the punt. 79 yards, he is gone, 20 to 17. Buckeyes couple field goals before the half, 26 to 17, but two returns for a touchdown. At that point, they had given up three touchdowns all year, all of them on special teams. Ja'Cory Harris really struggled in this game. Cameron Hayward picks him off here. Four interceptions for the Miami quarterback who was being touted as a Heisman candidate coming into the season, Hayward finally Pulled down 80 yards later at the Miami 15, and then Pryor makes him pay. This is where he is so tough in the open field. 13-yard touchdown. Ohio State on top, 33-17, and the Buckeyes win this one by the final of 36 to 24. So the first matchup between these two since their great national championship game at the end of the 2002 season, January of 03 goes to Ohio State. They remain perfect on the season. No preseason number two is lost in its first two games since Tennessee in 99. So the Bucks continue that trend. Prior third straight game, he has gone over 200 yards passing. But I know the run game jumps out to you, Coach. It does. And Terrell Pryor was the leading rusher for Ohio State. He had over 100 yards. And I don't think that was by design or intent. The important number is the tailbacks carried the ball 26 times. They had 70-something yards. But I think the more important concept is that the defense that Miami had to defend the tailback. It wasn't just stop Terrell Pryor and you win the game. Even though the tailbacks weren't dominant, Miami had to defend him, and that's what opened up a couple of Pryor's uh, runs and passes. Jerry, how would you like to be Jim Tressel? You went 36 to 24 against Miami, and you're ticked off. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why you're ticked off. They had a field goal block for a touchdown against Marshall. You don't understand how Jim Tressel emphasizes the kicking game, and I guarantee you they worked long and hard on it Well, they just didn't get it done. Here's Lamar Miller returning an 88-yard touchdown for a kickoff, and I'm sure Jim got over his, I can't believe this. Is, I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. And then moments later, here we go, Travis Benjamin, a 79-yard punt return. They're giving great effort, but they're not getting it done. And you got to think about as well as the Buckeyes played, if they would have been solid in the kicking game, this would have been a blowout. Yeah, they were completely dominant. I mean, offensively, they, they shut them down on defense. Ja'Cory Harris, frankly, had a, a brutal game, guys. But you're right. I mean, look, Jim Trussell, maybe it's been overblown through the years, but this is a guy who has said the most important play in football is the punt. <laughs> and you begin to understand why. I right, mean, you see right, today, I right. mean, that really changed the dynamic of this game. It didn't have to be a game, but it was because of Ohio State's struggles on special teams.